Peace. From diesel or gas pacers to rocket powered racers. Nomads, go mats, RV schoolies. Turn it, tweak it, tune it, fix it so smoothly. That's why he's badge. Everybody needs one. Okay, welcome back. Now, don't get mixed up with the title. That's just a, what everybody calls it lately is do a computer for dummies. I'm going to do a solar for dummies. Now, a good friend of mine, Joey G from the East Coast, he wanted me to do a, a video on simple, simple solar systems. Okay, now, if you go into my playlist, I have a whole thing on solar. Now, where Joey's coming from, as I can see, is that it's really um, mine, and even Paula from uh, Van Vita, she was the same way, is that there's so much information that people just get mind-boggling. So, this is a system. You know, I got 400 watts on my roof. I have a 3,000 watt inverter and I run my whole trailer off it. Everything. Except that I don't run the air conditioner and I don't run electric hot water heater. And I don't run it all at the same time. That's just, this is really more than what we need, believe it or not. We don't really need this much. We got four golf cart batteries up there. And like, I'm just going to cut to the chase here. When... People ask you how many watts of solar you got or how many amps of batteries. Who cares? As long as it charges your stuff, you don't care. I have no idea how much battery I got. All I know is I got four golf cart batteries hooked to a 3,000 watt inverter and four panels on the roof. That's it. That's all I know. Don't ask me how many amp hours I get. Don't ask me how much solar I get. I don't know. I don't care. As long as I plug in the coffee machine or L plugs in her hair dryer... And it all works. We don't care. Le knowing all that information is what I call useless information. You go on the internet to find that stuff. So now, what I'm going to... There's a couple sim systems I'm going to talk about. This system here, the reason I like this, I just try to show them that, uh, is on the inverter, it has a meter. And it'll tell you how many watts you're using, if you really give a shit. It'll tell you how many watts you're using. So for instance... I'll plug in the battery charger for my Milwaukee and it'll pop up and it'll tell you how much it's using because right now I'm not using zero. It's using 70 watts, that charger, right? So you take the battery out and it, it, it'll go back to zero, right? Now, on the charge controller, it's got a meter on it. It's got two, it's got three, two spots. It tells me the amps that are going into the battery or the voltage in the batteries, right? Like right now it's got, oh, that's the battery. Right now it's got 13.8, which is the same as what that says. And it's putting 2.9 amps and there's no sun. So that's all you need to know. As long as you plug your, I don't know. I plug my television in. It runs all night. I don't care. I really don't care. You don't. You do not need to know those numbers. If you don't want to know them numbers, don't know it. Now, when it comes to a system, you got to go and think drag racing. Now, when you're drag racing, you go and buy a combination. Motor, carburetor, and whatever. And the guy will say, this thing will run 1090. You take it, put it in your car, it runs 1090. Right? That's the same thing you do with a solar system. You go to Canadian Tire or you go to Harbor Freight or whoever and you say, what system you got? Well, we got 100 amp there. Well, what's that going to do? Well, it'll charge up uh, 100 watts of power and charge your batteries and everything. That's all you need to know. That's it. Just buy the system, put it together, and it'll do exactly what you want. If you want to just charge phones and... and uh, your tablet and keep the lights going in your trailer. 100 watts is more than enough. If you, the maximum you really need is 400 watts. I don't care what anybody says. That's all I ever need. Now, if you're going to run the whole thing off it, like electric water heaters and all that, yeah, you're going to need more. We don't need no more. We use this here. Now, I know a lot of people are, don't like the idea of a charge wire from the truck, but you're getting 13 volts going down the road, right? Now, you're going to get 13 volts down the road with the truck running or not. So 
you just got to remember that. Now, when you put it on and you charge it, then it'll get a little more because it'll go up to 14.2 and it'll charge from the truck instead of the thing. That's the only thing. And you can get away with almost anything. They got DC controllers and all this fancy crap. You don't need it. All you need is a little toggle switch. And look in the back of the toggle switch and it'll say 50, 60, 80 amps, whatever it'll do. And the most of them you're going to put maybe 80 amps through it or something. But Or put a solenoid on it. Or a master switch. A master shutoff switch. It's so simple. You don't have to... All them numbers that they're telling you about, you don't need them. I don't care about them. I really don't. I got a 3,000 watt inverter, 400 watts of solar, and... Um, a 40, a 30 amp charge controller. It does everything I want to do. So I don't need to know the numbers. And if you piece the kit together, that's when you have to know what you want. Where if you go on a Canadian Tire or Pearl Harbor Freight or wherever, and I've seen the kits from all of them and I never had a problem with them. So, um, just buy the kit you want and use it. It'll work just fine. And do you need one battery? What do you, how many can you afford? One, two, or three, or four, or five, or six, or seven. It doesn't matter. You get one battery and you can run that off one battery because I know a guy does it. He's got thousand watts of solar on his roof and one battery and it works just fine. It's just what you want to do. And it, if you don't want to do the numbers, don't do the numbers. Go to Canadian Tire or Harbor Freight and say, Give me a 200 watt panel on a charge controller. That works. Put it together, life goes on. I've done it lots of times. Just throw a kit together on the desert. Ask Bob, our BLB. I threw one on the ground for him. Keith over here, I did the same thing. I threw a 100, 3000 watt inverter, two batteries, and it worked just fine. So you don't need to know the numbers. The numbers mean nothing to you unless you're an electrician. And so just say no i got 100 watts and it charges everything i want to know that's all you need to know i'll leave that at you and if you want go down to the playlist and watch the solar playlist it's got everything explained there and just watch it all and if you don't want to know the numbers don't know the numbers you don't have to that's lunch oh you gotta wash your hands before you come in Salad? That's not lunch. Badge. Everybody needs one. We love our badge. And just remember, he's not.